Hi everybody. We had an experience in Mina, Nevada, where we were on our way to the Silver Dyke Mine up there in the uh, Excelsior Mountains. And the mine is uh, uh, actually what it is now. It's a ghost town. And there's a lot of remains up there. So we were really excited about going up there and taking a look around. Um, you head west off of US 95 onto a, a graded dirt road towards the canyon. And once you get up into the canyon, I think it's about uh, six miles that you drive, six to seven miles, and you get up into the canyon. And there's the ghost town in the mine up there. Also, they said that there's uh, a lot of times there's bighorn sheep up in there. So we wanted to go up there and take a look. We got about, I don't know, it was like five miles or something, six miles on the road. And we got an alert of a flat tire. And we got out to take a look and sure there was anything, our tire on the driver's side was losing air uh, really fast. We got off, it's not a very big road, but we didn't want to be blocking the road. We knew we had to change the tire, so we got off onto the side. And it wasn't very level, it was kind of at a slope. So we didn't have any choice. We had to go ahead and, and stay there and change the tire. The desert heat was, even though it was like in November, the desert heat was pretty brutal at that point. So we took turns uh, jacking up the truck, changed the tire. What are you doing? Still works. <laughs> I almost broke everything. <laughs> uh. Well, managed to fix the tire though. At that point, we decided that we would just go ahead and head on back out. Um, by that point, we, we just didn't feel like traveling far. We were a little bit worried that something might happen. So, uh, and there was only one other couple that we saw going in there when we were there. Nobody else. And they already passed us and left. Uh, so we were the only ones back in the canyon. Anyways, we got back in the truck and we drove for just a little ways. And we got another flat tire. Um, this time it was on the passenger side. Another flat. We had two flat tires. I mean, we hadn't even gone very far. So that it was losing air so fast that not even the fix-a-flat that we had, uh, we didn't have another spare. But the fix-a-flat wasn't going to do anything to it. So we had to drive on the rim to get out of the canyon enough that uh, we did get a cell signal. That was it was really lucky that we we got the signal. We were already starting to think about um, what we were going to do if we were going to camp out there for the night or what, because we were we had supplies with us and uh, water and you know we have the ready-made meals and you know blankets things like that. We we would have been fine, but it's n not like uh, being back at camp. But anyways, we did get a hold of AAA. And thank goodness they got a hold of a local tow company, and that guy knew exactly where we were. So it was uh, we were very very fortunate that he came, and I think it was only 
maybe about 20 minutes after she got a hold of him that he uh, showed up. Here's our tow truck driver. He came to save us. <laughs> <laughs> so we're not stranded out in the desert. Hooked us up, took us back to camp, but um, one other problem we ran into was um, it was only, uh, it was a Friday night and we were uh, maybe 30, 40 miles outside of Hawthorne. That was the closest tire place. Well, they closed down all their shops for the weekend and it was after closing time on Friday. The next closest place was Fallon, Nevada. So the tow guy said, I'll come back in the morning and take you guys. So he did. He came back and we used AAA again, but um, he towed us all the way into Fallon, Nevada, and we got our two new tires and went back to camp. So after that, the wind was kind of out of our sails. So it was the end of our trip anyways. We never did make it to Silver Dyke Ghost Town or the mine, but uh, maybe someday we will. Not too long after that experience, so we did look into it and we bought the InReach uh, satellite phone. So in case of emergencies, well, we were lucky. We did get a cell signal um, there, but you know, in case for the future, we're uh, we go to a lot of places that have no cell phone service, and it's just the two of us that go out there a lot of times. There's nobody else around, so you know it. It makes sense to uh, always cover your back, you know, and make sure that you're safe. And I'm no spring chicken anymore, so. You know, got to make sure that uh, we prepare for any kind of emergencies out there. But I just figured that uh, I would let you guys know. And I'm interested, if anybody's been to the Silver Dyke Mine outside of Mina, Nevada, let me know because um, I really do want to go back there someday and see it. Uh, we tried to get our friends to go with us last trip, but um, after... Uh, our experience they didn't want to take a chance on getting stuck back there so um, maybe we will one day though I hope we will so anyways I will talk to you guys later Bye.